Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you Credit Karma Budgeting App Review. Is it better than Mint.com? But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So let's examine the recent transition from one of the most beloved apps in personal finance, Mint.com. A long-standing favorite among budget-savvy users. It's undergoing a significant change as it merges with Credit Karma. This shift has sparked a considerable amount of conversations and debate. So it's time to unpack what it means for users. Now, moving forward, we'll be exploring the translation process from Mint.com to Credit Karma. Initially hold, hailed as the seamless translation, the reality seems to be quite different. So users are encountering various hurdles from the setup of new accounts to navigating complex password requirements. It's far from the smooth experience many had hoped for. Now, let's dive into the interface of Credit Karma. Now, unlike the intuitive layout of Mint.com, Credit Karma's interface leaves much to be desired. Gone are the vibrant visuals and interactive tools that made budgeting a breeze. Instead, users are now met with a plain, uninspired design that lacks the functionality they've grown accustomed to. Now, in, in terms of features, the disparity between Mint.com and Credit Karma is stark. While Mint.com offered a comprehensive suite of tools for financial management, Credit Karma falls short with limited features and stripped-down interface. It, falls to it fails to provide the robust functionality users need to effectively manage their finances. So, what's the final verdict on it? So Credit Karma may suffice for basic financial tracking, but it pales in comparison to Mint.com's comprehensive toolkit with its underwhelming interface and lackluster features. Now, it's clear that Credit Karma has a long way to go uh, to win over loyal Mint.com users. Now, in conclusion, this transition has left many users feeling disappointed and frustrated. And in this case... What was once a top-tier app in the world of personal finance has been downgraded to a mere shadow of its former self. Now, it's a stark reminder of the importance of user experience and functionality in the world of app development or just basically for apps in personal finance. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.